Hello all and welcome to another Kevin Entertainment video. It's Art here with the Season 2 review of Alex Rider on IMDb TV. That's right, uh, IMD, IMD, IMDb.tv, uh, the, the app has a second season of Alex Rider. Um, Otto Ferrant, or, or Otto, Far, I guess that's how you say it, Otto Ferrant, uh, Benrick O'Connor, uh, Vicky McClure, and um, I can't say Jackie's last name. Um, the lady who plays Jackie Stark. But all the cast is here, and new additions to the cast are made. In the case of Sabina and uh, The bad guy, whose name I forget, oh, Damien Cray, um, who's played by Toby Stevens of James Bond fame. It's action-packed, it's believable, which is important, because when you're dealing with a 15, 16, maybe 17-year-old spy, actually, I'd say... 1415 because uh, he doesn't have a car yet and isn't licensed to drive and is still going to school and there is a surprise recurring character from season one that will surprise you that I found rather enjoyable the seasons so far are faithful to the book series which I love to see I enjoy seeing faithfulness to the source material I think it really helps that Anthony Horowitz is an executive producer and he helps write some of the episodes having TV experience with Foils War and Midsummer, Midsummer's Murder, just to name Midsummer Murders, just to name a few. If I can spit it out with my without tripping over my own tongue. But it's paced well, it's believable, it's current. It's actual, it's something that only a teenager would know, and even the female teenagers are important, so each member of the cast is important. It's not just the Alex Ryder show with supporting characters, it's Alex Ryder and friends, uh, and the friends play a huge important role and they all have their role to play and they play it perfectly. What a great show. I, I know that season three is coming in summer of 2022 and I cannot wait for it to come. I cannot wait for it to be a thing because it's going to be downright awesome. It's going to be downright uh, it should be downright spectacular if it stays with, with the same uh, formula as the other se uh, seasons in the U.S. series in the U.K. Uh, trivia question for those that watch the videos. If a, if a season is called a series, what is the series called in the UK what word do they use they use a different word and it makes sense leave that in the comments down below but back to the review should you watch Alex Ryder season 2 well first of all did you enjoy season 1 if that answer is yes go right ahead if that answer is no maybe Alex Ryder isn't for you um, did you like the books? Have you read the book series? Do you have any interest in reading the book series? I recommend reading the Anthony Horowitz book series before seeing the show as to not get anything particularly spoiled for you because there are spoilers in both the first season and the second season. I think that was done on purpose to follow the source material closely. So I think it's it done as a way not to spoil the books but but uh, 
in a way as faithfulness to the source material. So if the answer is you want to read the books, then read the books first, then watch the show. If you don't like reading the books and you want to watch the show, then by all means watch the show, but start with season one, move on to season two. Obvious numeric order is important, especially since season two does build off of season one. It's very important that you do indeed watch them in order. I think that Otto Ferrant, to me, feels like he's grown into the role better and he's become more accustomed to the role and the, and the role seems to fit him like a, like, a, like a glove. I think that he's very comfortable in the world of Alex Ryder and that's great to see because if this series has any link any link to it past season three because we already know we're getting season three in summer of 2022 according to the uh, article I read on Google and Amazon's picking it up for a third season uh, it could be very important that he becomes accustomed and comfortable with the role do I think season one is better than season two well, that remains to be seen, to be quite honest with you. Uh, I would say probably, but only because it adds more characters and, of course, adds depth to the characters that we already know. So that's the important thing with that one. I love Season 2 more because it deals with video games. Even though it's a genre of video games I don't play in, M in MMOs or MOBAs, whichever you... Uh, Choose, acronym you choose to use both are applicable here what would I give Alex Ryder season 2 well for me personally and I think for me in totality it's an 8 out of 10 popcorns um, the only real problem I have with it is the way that the section treats writer after he was right so many times um, if one of your agents comes to you with bona fide proof of something why wouldn't you take him at his word even if he is a teenage boy so um, in that respect it got a little bit annoying it was a little bit slow in the middle fast in the beginning fast in the end but the middle episodes uh, like four and five were a little bit tedious for the reason I mentioned before so that's why it gets an eight out of, an eight out of ten from me so without further ado the this is what I'm gonna mention you know I make videos every Monday Wednesday and Saturday at 12 30 p.m. Central 10 30 in Pacific 1 30 p.m. Eastern please like Comment, subscribe if you want to see more. Please ding the notification bell to be notified when I upload a video. And without further ado, leave in the comments down below if you liked Alex Ryder Season 2. And if you're anti anticipating Season 3 or Series 3 for you British fans. Um, also leave in the comments down below the answer to my question. Just for fun, we're going to see if this, how many of you watch the video to its... Uh, completion so let me know in the comments down below all that and until next time happy reading happy watching I'll see you again soon and peace